I think the bulk of it is shortening up his swing, being more to direct to the baseball, and even on some bad balls, he's able to have success. And Tura backs Manny off the plate, and Manny's staring him down. And Tura has had some uh, history with throwing at batters. I'm not suggesting he did there, but Manny certainly uh, has his attention. And 2 0 the count of Machado. High fly ball to left. Back is Fuentes. The wind has it, knocks it down. And Fuentes has to come in and make the grab. And Machado still staring down your Donald Ventura. Still staring him down. And here comes Field and Colbert, the crew chief, to make sure nothing happens. It's kind of interesting right there. Where did that wind come from? Looks like Manny crushed that ball. A little uh, back and forth between Manny and Ventura. Ventura buzzing. Yeah, Buck over talking to Obaldo. We're not sure if he said thanks for the effort or do you have one more in you? Which he has done. He respects Obaldo as a veteran. At the moment, nothing doing in the Oriole pen. Here's Manny. And he's drilled and Manny's going after him. And here we go. And Manny and Ventura are going at it on the mound. And this is a big time brawl at Camden Yards. He threw at Manny in the second inning. And on the first pitch he drills him. And that's the M.O. of your Donald Ventura. This has followed him in his brief career. Manny and Ventura still barking at each other. Manny is being pulled away by C.B. Buckner. Now I got to tell you, Mike, that is just Bush League. That is Bush League. Well, a little old school here. Yeah, Manny looking back after 98 mile an hour fastball knocks him off the plate. Ventura taking note. All right, Manny, take this one. And then it was on. The Royals kind of set the tone last year. A bunch of early season bench clears. And then they take an exception. So Manny reacting to being hit and of course quite often the retaliator gets in more trouble than the instigator. And we'll see what the umpires do here. Second time in this game Ventura is thrown at Machado. This time it hit him. I didn't get a chance to look at the home plate umpire Manny Gonzalez whether or not it was an immediate ejection or not. From Ventura. Well, Ventura is on the bench. Machado is on the bench. Dave Highland, the pitching coach, talking with Ventura. Fielding Culbreth in the center there. He's the crew chief. Well, the umpire and crew definitely has to go through and find out how many guys were involved here before they start kicking players out of the game. And one thing uh, you don't want to see are two of the bright young stars in the game doing this. Doesn't look too good for either team. Well, Odor got eight games reduced to seven for landing a punch on Jose Bautista. And if the Orioles lose Machado for a week with Hardy out, that'll be a major loss. I guess the good news, both teams just wanted to pull two, the two apart. There weren't any extra punches thrown. I'm sure waiting there. There we go. Here we go.
Yeah, big first inning when the Orioles put four runs on the board, and then he got brushed back with a pitch. Up and in fastball, but Manny letting him know. And now some words exchanged, so he stayed in the box to admire it. Fortunately, not a home run, and then this last at bat right here. Takes it in the backside, and then he went out to get him. Manny Machado on the bump, and he'll give way to Chen, Chen Ming Wang out of the bullpen. See that fastball 84% of the time. Been in 18 games, so he is 19th. He's picked up three wins from 208 earned run average, 16 punch outs, just the eight walks. And the opponents to the. So now Dave Wallace and Buck Showalter talking about what to do. For the top of the six, do they let Ubaldo go back out, or do they go to the pen? Meantime, Giannis on at first with one down for Trumbo, and Michael Gibbons is going to get loose, so that could be our answer. A little longer break here now for Ubaldo. That might have been the decider. Umpires did a real good job uh, restoring order. Six of nine inherited runners have been stranded. He inherits one at first base here. Now one pretty good fastball. Low to mid 90s with the heater. Four seamer and a two seamer. Trumbo two run double in the first. He had a comebacker in the second. He has seen Chen Ming Wang only once, and he has a base hit, one for one against him. Not to him on the count on Mark. Five to one O's. They scored four in the first inning. Through the first six batters, they had four runs. Side ball three. And the Orioles uh, change their approach here. Get him up. He is a sinker baller. And lots of sinkers when he's right. You see the good two seamer at the bottom of the zone. Well, up over 50 percent on the ground balls. Center field. He got a lot of it. Came back on it, and that ball is gone. A four. RBI night for Mark Trumbo. And the Birds now lead it 7 to 1. Trumbo is on a tear. Five home runs, 11 RBIs on the homestand, and another $500 for our Maryland Lottery contestant of the game, Sharon Mackle of Silver Spring. And no doubter here. From Trumbo. I think every time the ball makes contact and it's elevated off the bat of Mark Trumbo, it's a no doubter. Davis gets in the one. Back towards the bleachers. Kane is there. He's looking up. He leaps and it's gone. Off the facade of the bleachers. Trumbo and Davis go back to back. Well, when the Orioles bats start heating up, there is not an offense more productive. Everybody taking part here. Davis hitting his 12th. After Trumbo picks up his 20th of the year. So three home runs in the game, driving in four of the eight runs. Scope to center field. The ballpark will hold this one. Kane has to come in on it, and he makes a running catch. And two men down. Let's get a look at these two swings by Trumbo and Davis. Well, Trumbo seeing it up here. The sinker doesn't sink. And how about the pose there? 
And no, right away, right off the bat. And then Davis, the classic swing, majestic, serious height. Some power. So Chris, it's number 12. For Mark, it's number 20. 20 home runs in 57 games. Alvarez fouls it off. Tenth time this year the O's have gone back to back. The first run on the Trumbo home run is charged to Ventura. And as Giannis who scored. Machado was hit by the pitch then ejected. So that is an earned run charged to Ventura another so he goes four and a third and six earned runs. Two charged to Wong. Who allows back to back home runs. Now Trumbo five home runs in his last six games. Davis going down to get it. On that sinker ball in the wheelhouse. There's Davis a natural little loop. And into the bat path. And too tight. The ball two strikes on Alvarez. Chen Ming Wan, when he was a young pitcher with the Yankees, he was one of the best starters in the league. He had back to back 19 win seasons in 2006 and 2007. But then in 2008, in interleague baseball, running the bases at Houston, he tore a tendon in his right foot, running the bases. And he's never been the same. Inside three and two. Yeah, isn't this this is the first year he's been in the big leagues in a while, right? Since 2013, I think. Yep. Yeah, he got into six games with the Blue Jays that year. Three and two on Pedro. Two outs and the base is empty. Foul back. So after falling behind, no balls and two strikes. As Trumbo looks on, talking with Mark Quinn, the assistant hitting coach. This will be the seventh pitch in this at bat for Pedro Alvarez. Protecting the outside corner and slaps it foul. Well, nice job right there to keep this at bat alive. They've been working hard every time they have early DP. He's out here on the drive balls to left center. And you see him staying on that tough pitch away at front side, staying locked in. Only reason this at bat's still going. And he draws the walk. Real nice at bat there by Pedro Alvarez. Baldo staying loose. Three runs might have kept him in for another inning. Dave Wallace just checked with him. I'm not sure what that thumb gesture meant. <laughs> Either said, I'm going back out there or go get him in the bullpen. <laughs> <laughs> he was pointing in the same direction. Strike one to Pena. Francisco 0 for 2 in this game. He had multi hit games in each of his first two starts since coming up to replace the injured Caleb Joseph. Upstairs, one and one. Skipper's looking on. And a base hit for Payne. He's got a three game hitting streak. Nice swing there, just slaps it the other way for a two out single. Yeah, beautiful. Picked up a nice base hit uh, a couple days ago. Line drive to right field. Stays on top. Elevated pitch away. Good swing. All right, Frankie. So after the fly ball out by Scope, extended at bat by Pedro Alvarez to draw the walk, and now a single.
This ball is hit to right field. Back on it is Orlando, and he runs it down off the bat of Flaherty. And that ends the inning. But the Orioles get three more. A brawl in the middle of the inning. Mark Trumbo hit his 20th. Chris Davis hit his 12th. And the Orioles now have an 8-1 lead. This year. And Tillman, of course, seven wins on the season. Adam Jones got the rally going in the first with a single to deep shortstop that Escobar fielded on the outfield grass and couldn't catch him at first base. One and one. Long allowed an inherited runner to score in the fifth plus two more of his own. And it is eight to one Baltimore. Deep left field. Adam Jones is joining the fun. And that ball is gone. A four home run game for the O's and the birds are laying it on Kansas City. Sharon Mackle of Silver Spring, our Maryland Lottery contestant of the game, another $500 courtesy of Mr. Jones. Adam Jones has been on a nice little roll here on this home stand, picking up his fourth home run. Here's Kim. He's got to look at our Alexis of Towson driving the game off the bat of Jones. Yeah, Adam Jones starting to heat up. This pitch up and in. Look at the hands close to the body. Those where the bat head is. And yeah, the dugout knows. Drive of the game brought to you by Lexus of Towson, the area's number one luxury dealer. Come see why at LexusofTowson.com. Moylan now getting loose. One of the six right handers in that pen. Wong is allowed three runs plus an inherited runner, and he's allowed three home runs since coming on last inning. Kim is two out of three with a couple of singles and a run score. Eighth multi hit game of the year for Kim. We're moving the ball all over the field. Trying to feel comfortable on the inner third, turning on pitches. Slaps the ball the other way if it's on the outer third. Kim to center field that chases Kane back that ball's got a chance and up against the wall Kane has it. So Kim hits it to the deep part of the ballpark and Kane runs it down for the first out. Celebrate one of the newest Birdland sluggers on Sunday June 26th all fans of the game that day 135 against the Rays receive a Mark Trumbo Orioles T-shirt. And after the game, all kids 14 and under can run the bases here at Oriole Park as you can every Sunday home game this year. For a great day of baseball and get a Mark Trumbo t shirt. For your tickets, Orioles.com or 888-848-BIRD. That is Sunday, June 26th, the finale of that series against Tampa Bay. Paul Yanish first at bat. He's in Manny's spot. Yanish, two out of six on the homestand. And a chopper deep third fielded there by Cuthbert. Throw across is high and out on the tag. Quick hands by Hosman. Well, pretty nice play there by the young third baseman. Hitting a deep angle. Maybe rushing the throw a little bit. And Hosmer. Exceptional feet and hands over there. Look at the stretch try. Foul ground and then reaching Ooh. back, and that is a close play. He might be safe, and I think Buck may challenge so Yanish can get himself a base hit. Oh, that is a bang bang play. And Buck says, No, nope, we're not going to challenge. So that might be one of those where they say, Well, he probably didn't get him, but they're probably not going to overturn it. Right. And not enough evidence there. Well, two down. Here's Trumbo's had a huge night. And on a swing and a miss. He has a two-run double, a two-run homer. 
20 home runs and 48 RBIs. He's now scored a run in seven consecutive games. Six home runs in April, nine home runs in May, and now five home runs in June, and this is only the seventh game in June. Yeah, he's uh, he's locked in. He stays tall, trusts his hands. Very rarely does he get out of his strike zone. Chopper to short for Escobar. Low throw scooped out by Hosmer. He saves another error. That's the third time in this game. Hosmer with his glove to save a throwing error by an infielder. Well, the Orioles do get a run. They add to their lead. As Trumbo is retired. I'll be checking this pick. Did Hosmer keep his foot on? Good. So the inning ends. Adam Jones adds to the Orioles lead. Gets it to one against Chen Ming Wong. His ninth has made it nine to one O's.